Hi, Cindy Bo again, and I'm going to read the second story that's in this book of two stories by Jez Albro. So last time we read, Where's My Teddy? And now I'm going to read, It's the Bear. So I'm going to turn to that page. And first, I'm going to mention Jez Alvaro wanted to say thank you to some special friends for David, Amelia, Jane, Jason, and Lucy with thanks. So let me start. It's the bear. Oh, look, here's Eddie. He's grown a little. Eddie doesn't want to come and picnic in the woods with mom. I'm scared, he said, about the bear, the great big bear that lives in there. Bear, said mom, that's silly, dear. We don't get great big bears around here. There's just you and me and your teddy, Freddy. Now, Let's all get the picnic ready. They're going to go have a picnic lunch. We've got lettuce, tomatoes, and cream cheese spread with hard boiled eggs and crusty brown bread. There's orange juice, cookies, some chips, and oh my! I forgot to pack the blueberry pie. I'll dash back and get it, she said. Won't be long. But mom, gasped Eddie. Too late. She was gone. He sat on the basket and he tried not to cry. I can smell food, yelled a voice from nearby. <gasps> it's the bear, cried Eddie. Where can I hide? Then he opened the basket and he clambered inside. Out of the trees stepped a big hungry bear, licking his lips and sniffing the air. A teddy bear's picnic, he bellowed. Hooray! Help, whispered Eddie. He's coming my way. Eddie's inside the basket. He cuddled his teddy, and he huddled and hid. Then a great big bear bottom sat on the lid. The bear munched and he crunched and he chomped and he chewed and he greedily gobbled up all of the food. He ate all of their lunch. Now what's for dessert? said the bear. Let me see. Oh please, whispered Eddie. Don't let it be me. Don't let him see me. Don't let him come. Help, shouted Eddie. I want my mom. Here she comes. Eddie, I'm coming, called mom. Are you hurt? It's the bear, cried Eddie. He thinks I'm dessert. A bear, said mom. I told you, my dear. Your Freddy is the only bear around here. No, he's not, screamed Eddie. Behind you, he's there. Don't be silly, said mom. There can't be. There just can't be. There isn't a bear. Oh, she saw the bear. 
Look what happened to the pie. I told you, cried Eddie. Run, shouted Mom. Blueberry pie, said the bear. I love it. He had the pie. Yum, yum. And that's the end of our second story. Thank you for joining me.